Welcome to our series on how we make rum here at Muddy River Distillery. I'm Robbie. I'm going to walk you through step by step in a series of videos of how we, we do our job here. So stay tuned for part one, fermentation. All right, so step one of fermentation, we have to mix our ingredients together. Since we're making rum in a rum distillery, rum is called rum because you make it out of sugar cane. We get our sugar cane in the form of USA grown molasses or white granulated sugar. So Jordan here, he's gonna start this process in our mix tank of getting the water churning up, dumping in the molasses, mixing in sugar with it. It couldn't be much easier from a seller standpoint. And then we'll take it from there. All right, so the mash is all mixed up. It's really, really hot because we use hot water to dissolve all the ingredients and get them right. We have to get this into the fermenter, but we have to cool it down to do that. So we're using our big yellow heat exchanger here. We're gonna take that hot mash and counter flow some refrigerant on the other side of it, cooling it down to the perfect temperature for the yeast to do its job. The mash is all pumped into the fermenter. Now we're gonna clear the line. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shut the tank off and we're gonna turn the pumps off. And now Jordan is gonna blast air through the heat exchanger out through the pipes, clearing everything of the mash that's left over in the tank. So if you don't mind, Jordan's careful when he's doing this to make sure that he doesn't go above 20 PSI because he could theoretically blow up the heat exchanger or some pipes and that would be bad for us. So he's gonna leave that running. We're checking the lines going down through here. They're all looking pretty good. And at this point, I can shut off the fermenter. She's done filling and kill the air. And that's it, next step is yeast. All right, so we have our water in here at the right temperature. Now I've got my big old 10 kilo bag of dehydrated yeast that is special for us to make our rum with. I'm just gonna put this in the container and then I'll seal her up. All right, so we've added our dehydrated yeast to this, uh, this yeast brink here and I'm gonna use this drill to turn it into a slurry. Now, I've sanitized everything using our rum, of course, so it's nice and clean and now I'm gonna mix it up. All right, we've turned that into a nice slurry. Now we need to close the lid and let the yeast just take its time to hydrate and get ready to uh, munch down on some uh, sugar cane. All right, so we've hydrated the yeast. It's been sitting for about 45 minutes and uh, you can tell she's ready as I let out air. That's just from the yeast hydrating and starting to get after it. So. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up compressed air at a manageable PSI, a safe PSI, and then I'm gonna connect the bottom of our fermenter to the yeast brink. From here, I can open all my valves and begin to flow the yeast into the tank. All right, so we've got the yeast in the mash. We've got our temperature set just right for fermenting rum. The last step is to aerate that mash and get it nice and oxygenated so that yeast really replicates and builds up an army to eat that sugar and turn it into ethanol. After fermentation is done, which for us takes a couple weeks, we will pump it into our stills and bring you step two of this video process where we distill the rum. Thanks for watching. Uh, ask us questions in the comments. Check out our other channels and YouTube playlists for cocktails and things we're doing in the distillery and cheers.